Wow, James Flamestar. You're a... Uh, your epic intro. That is something. Some sort of something else. Uh, buttons? Do I have buttons? Guys, do I have buttons? <laughs> and the cam even looks good today. I feel like I'm quiet. Am I quiet? What is up? You are that volume. Oh, let's move this whole thing forward. Uh, hold on. Oh, you can see my legs in the mirror way back there. That's weird. I think all the levels are fine. We did some reboots today. Let's go take a look at the control panel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful looks at his phone Sunday. I'm having an all right Sunday. It's astounding to note that it's a Sunday. Check it and double deck it. Uh, levels, everything's 80. Hey, well, welcome to the chat. No troubleshooting needed. Uh, Flamestar, dude. This is a, this is an opus. Patreon singles. It's quite the track. Uh, the previous one was very uh, oboey. Oh, oboey. Uh, and you'll have to put up with my. Uh... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bearded Arabian, thank you very much for coming in and uh, opening up with a bits slap. Uh, thank you so very, very much. Welcome and welcome and welcome. I was just suggesting you're going to have to put up with my super sexy raspy voice tonight. <clears throat> I haven't been able to clear it in a few days. Uh, I'm not concerned. I'm just worried I sound overly flirtatious. Uh, so welcome in. Welcome in. We're going to get some Fallout uh, New Vegas thrown down tonight. We're going to find out what we were doing in that game. I kind of don't remember. I mean, I sort of do. We just got our dog a new brain and we just drove... Matthew Perry away. So we got a bunch of stuff we need to take care of. We need to find out uh, what's next on the plate. The quests have been going a little bit smoother now, though. I'm kind of enjoying that, that aspect of it. It is a bit muddy at first, but, you know, we're doing all right. Uh, I do not have strap. I just... <clears throat> I don't exactly know what I have. No, maybe there's a chance. Uh, for the most part, though, like, I don't really go out or do anything, so I don't understand how I keep getting sick. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, but the other night, while streaming, I sounded like this at the beginning. I had a boatload of chai, uh, and by halfway through the stream, I felt fine again. My voice was all sorts of normal, so. We'll maybe just chalk it up to that the changing weather is a bit annoying. You know, that sort of thing. Oh, with the emote-only chat. I love our emote-only chat. Is it? Throw the explosion up. Oh, it does anyway because we already have explosions up on this screen. But now any emote only chat. Did it actually go into emote only chat? Oh Jesus! No, hold on. There it is. Did that button go? Did it go? Did it go? Hold on. Did it go? It looks stuck. It looks like it can't go. My stream deck is having the best time right now. Oh, can you maybe if we push you again? Does it? It seriously goes halfway and then it stops. I'm now taking a look at my actions. Oh yeah, no, okay. That's because typically we would be on, uh, yeah, I don't know, it didn't actually engage emote only chat though. Do we have to be on the games, hold on, do we have to be on the games panel for this to even work? Give me a sec. No, it's just not going. Oh, there's no admin portal to that. I wonder if they change stuff. I wonder if they change stuff. Because, like, I can enable it. I have a button. The button is dope. Uh, it enables emote-only chat for a full two minutes, and then it disables it. And it does it all sorts of automatically as long as I can push the button. And there's a little thingy that tells you that it's doing its job. And it immediately goes to the two-thirds mark and has a nap. Yeah, that's what it does. So, uh, emote only chat for some sort of rando amount uh, of time. Which, that's okay, because I've got buttons. But, you know, so F's in the chat for the fact that we don't. And normally these these emote splogies aren't, uh, aren't available when I game. Normally I don't, I don't have the, the emotes fly over my, my gaming, it's, it, but they're always available, like over on, over on a chatting widget. I'm gonna keep them over here anyway, because, you know, we keep the hype up here. It's kind of fun. Uh, 
but the emote explosion and the emote only chat is really good for the games mode, but it still should put it into emote only chat. We need to test that. Whiteboard. Thank you. I need a audio whiteboard. I need some sort of way to leave notes for myself uh, without writing it down. I will point out it's that my whiteboard marker dried out, but it's also be very awesome if I could just do that. So how are you tonight, Bearded Arabian? How are you? How has been your Sunday? We've got some really like slidey stuff tonight, Harris. Harris Heller bringing in the awesome tracks again, peeps. Oh, and that's Fallout New Vegas starting. So let's hit the play button. The, in the intro is whimsically loud and then the rest of the game's just fine. Like that. Ooh. It's it also been good. Can you turn off emote only plus? <laughs> it certainly can, and thank you for getting Scarlet to tell me to do that. We'll turn that part off first. Wow. See this part? I'm really sorry, hold on a sec. It's super loud. Can we go continue? Can we go yes? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. There we go. It goes back down to a respectable volume. Well, except this dude. This dude's always loud. And we're back. Unbelievable. Murder Walrus, welcome and thank you very, very much for the 11 in a row. Hello, you freaky man. Thank you for the prime, and oh, I got an emote out of you. I'm gonna send you thanks for the whoa. That's a K-pop heart, dude. You gave me a K-pop heart. A K-pop heart. Yeah, I was saying that right. How's it going, man? Welcome in. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for your prime sub. For y'all prime sub, your double Fs are amazing. Look at those the the pair of badges that you get, dude. For the pair of badges that you get. And Hollow Knight is killing you. I haven't heard your progress in a bit, yo. I haven't heard your progress of that in a little bit. Tell us more about what's going on in your in your. Is your night still hollow? Mine was very hollow. Ninety? You're not. You're not ninety nine percent, dude. What? Although you were definitely progressing wicked faster than me, but still, that ninety nine percent. What is in that last one percent? That is that is insane. Oh, now I'm super curious. Oh, there's 112% total? Mm, that's some doom nonsense right there. <clears throat> we'll cover the platinum chip from Benny. Oh, I now remember what we were doing, guys. Uh, we need to decide if we're gonna return the platinum chip somewhere or give it to this dude so he can hack the mainframe. Oh, the... It got so strange now. Like, yes man here. Okay, yeah, things got things got cray. Base game is 100. And the other 12 is added with... Oh, with DLC. Okay, cool, cool. And the last 13% is nothing but tears. Are you shooting for... <clears throat> pardon my sexy raspy voice. Are you shooting for the full 112 then? And do you know, did Adaris do the full 112? It sounds like he did. It sounds like he killed himself on it. Make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, so we've got like these sort of optional good stuff. Uh, and I can bring the platinum chip to Mr. House. So this one uh, is where I don't side with Mr. House. And this one is where I do. I'm kind of, I don't know if I like I don't like Mr. House seems okay. I don't know if I like the idea of this thing. Pardon my technophobia, but like that. I don't really want that thing being in control of stuff. I think he did, but not sure. He did do the Pantheons, and that is more than equivalent. That sounds phenomenal. Yeah, like, I mean, with the way that he talked about it, lovingly, but at the same time still broken. Uh, it would make sense if he if he did the full the full what's it who's it 
So that's like all the way back into here, right? And then do we go out around this way? This I don't remember is how to leave. What up, yes man? Oh, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, Hollow Knight. I might return to, but I might play it off stream. Um, if you talk to him before, you just mention Path of Pain and see what his response is. Yes, indeed. That's the part that you're on now. You're on Path of Pain. Is that? But a different difficulty. Is that the 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 video that you linked in? Yeah. Wow. Dude, I uh, no way, no way, no way. That's insanity. There's a there's a clip in Discord. Is is it in Discord or did you just DM it to me? Because wow, was it ever over the top? Oh, Path of Pain is the bullet held with buzz saws. Right. Okay. Okay. When you have to time your like straight across your monarch wings, your 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 mantis claw. Oh, jeeps. Yeah. Okay. When you have to plan all of that craziness. So okay, I talked with Mr. House. We just have to go get the platinum chip. Um, we gotta go get the platinum chip from Benny, because that's gonna work out well. We're likely gonna do a hundred thousand things on the on the way to finding Benny. Uh, and I think it thinks I want to go this way to go out. <laughs> I'm like, oh! no, I'm, I'm no good with that stuff. Wait, and so I'm kind of following the arrow just right now. I want to see if I can tell. Okay. I dig this crazy slang. I dig this crazy slang. Yeah, okay, it's taking me outside. That's good stuff. Running is not easy. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows cool. upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Thanks, Any Volpe's. crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar Whoa. will not extend this mercy a second time. My Sounds lord requires thing. your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. That's okay. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp Whoa. as we speak. Uh, and I love that the first question is, who are you? I mean, it says it, but still. What is up, Mike? How are the things? Welcome to the Vegas Strip. We are having a blast and a half. We're figuring out how to get outside. We got there. This dude interrupted. We're having a good time. If this is a trap, I'm going to take a lot of you with me. Why does Kazar want to see me? Does he call himself Kazar? I'm 100% curious. Walwoos! Tell Kazar I accept his invitation. I don't even remember what alliances I'm really shooting for in this game right now. Like, everybody is just sus. And I'm interested in maybe taking bargains, but screwing with people. Just being like, maybe we'll kill you later. Isn't that sort of how we got Boone? We could drag literally anybody in front of him and he'd kill them. We happen to pick the right person. Or we could have picked just about anybody. No allegiance is needed. I am Wulpes in Kulta of Kaisar's Legion. I serve my master as the greatest of his frumentari. Frumentari. Kaiser is the one that burned the whole town and crucified the entire population. <laughs> oh, with the, the lottery winner? Was it that dude? There was the one guy that survived? Or was that somewhere different? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we don't really want to do that. Uh, I can threaten him. Anyway, I guess I've done nice things. Maybe I killed people that they this one. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Caesar's a bit weird. Do we have to call him Kazar? Does he call himself Kazar? 
Is it weird? Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Render under Kaisar. And I can probably, now that we're outside, we can probably fast travel. Whoa, howdy. We gotta go far to get to the fort. That's a bit of a trek. I sort of thought it's in the title we're traveling tonight. Um, we've still never technically found Crimson Caraway Caravan Company. We need more fast travel spots. But, like, that's... We lose road after a while. We have to travel... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's far. Sounds like things are being broken. Uh, and then... There's something else that we could do here? Okay, yeah, talk to house. Right, no worries. Well, I guess we're not going to fast travel there, are we? And is it... I have two... Markers on my map. Let's go local map. So yeah, it thinks there's a quest inside Top's Casino for me to do. But I just want to head out. I think it's probably the talk to Mr. House, but I already did that. That's why it's grayed out, right? Oh no, because I'm bringing it to Mr. House, but I gotta go get it from... Okay, this is all very confusing. Not very, but you know. Like, if I do that, does it change where I'm going? Oh, it does. I guess I gotta go to Cottonwood Cove, because now... Oh, geez. But yeah, he's not at the fort. We just learned that. It doesn't change it in the quest, though. And take the barge up river to the fort. Oh, right. Okay. But we don't want to do stuff with the guy that killed lots and lots of people. Let's just follow the original plan. And let's uh, put this away. Yeah, let's put that away. Wait, it's not this way? Jeez, I get so lost in this game. <laughs> Weddled map. Fast travel light. Let's at least use the fast travels we have. And then we travel this way. And we'll set a marker, sure. Sage, welcome. Welcome to the chat. How are you tonight? It's been a little bit. How you been? How you been, man? How you been? How are all the things? All the different things. Tell me all about your things. I just noticed. I don't have my peeps. Way too busy. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that you were going to be getting some biz. Some serious busy on. Where is Boone and my dog? Why do they not travel with me anymore? Did I didn't turn them into stuff. something, did I? Did they? Do they hang out at, like at a house? I don't want to. I don't want to go places without them, right? Like they're. Boone's my gun. Boone. Boone's my damn gun. I can't go anywhere without Boone. He shoots all the things for me. Where do I keep? Like, are they at my house? Which is in... I have two places at Vegas, don't I? Like in, like in the strip. I, I just noticed we don't have Boone or my dog. This is just weird. And am I allowed in here and they don't shoot me? Because you guys like me. Because I'm not that guy. And then there's still that freaky dude. Oh, there they are. Do they... You guys can come with me now? This is so weird to just leave them here. Uh, keep distance, back up, use melee, be aggressive. Follow me. I've got your back. 
Cool. Are you also following me? Can I go like this to prove it? You guys are now gonna... And you'll shoot stuff? And you'll... Brain them? I don't really know what you do. Well, I guess he's faster now, isn't he? My dog is faster. Okay. Guys, we almost went places without my dog or my gun. That's wrong. I look down and I'm at two-thirds health, but more importantly, I don't have Boone. That dude is all kinds of gun. He is going to ruin uh, things, but probably before I see them. Only good times of my last week and, uh, and a bit was good steak. Hey. I want to live vicariously through your steak. I haven't had steak in ages. I don't remember the last time I had good steak. Tunes out here got a little wiggy. Nobody for me to shoot, but by now Boone would have found them. Maybe he's not being aggressive. Do I have to tell him to be aggressive? I didn't before. You almost bought a $92 steak. That's insane. Uh... Eat this. Oh, there we go. I didn't even get the bats, that guy. Amazing. You don't like steak? Dude. I paid 35 or 45, 30, 30, 35, 40, dang everyone, uh, for a steak that was, oh, what is it, filet mignon, and then bacon wrapped, and it was the size of a baseball, and it was melt in your mouth, and it was ridiculous. You don't like in general, meat in general, to be honest, that, that sort of makes sense, because steak is really, that's... That's typically top end. People will like, they'll eat fish or chicken before they'll like want steak. I haven't known too many people that will only eat steak, but won't eat the like white meats. Pinkish meats, that sort of thing. You've always been like that, Mike? Well, you know, that's a thing, that's cool. Um, members of my family were mostly carnivorous. We have to force ourselves to eat veggies, it's a thing. Uh, so I grew up on steak, but I haven't had it in years. You know, went to a bar, had cuts of beef hanging above the bar, asked the bartender about it, and he said, well, if I can jump up and hit them, uh, your drinks are on the house, but you m miss and you buy the bar three rounds. And I couldn't do it. Stakes were too high. Hi, Cuba. That was amazing. That was amazing, by the way. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really. And the bill was killer. Dude. $92 steak. Can we talk about a $92 steak? That is, that is. Now, granted, mine was like. 2002. It was a long ass time ago. Like a long ass time ago. Uh, so, and it was like this little tiny restaurant, but a five star in the absolute middle of nowhere. It was awesome. You have a picture and you will post that in Discord. Sage, that sounds phenomenal. That sounds awesome. I definitely want to see that. That is, that is really cool. I encourage ridiculous food posts. We do have a food section. It makes sense. Speaking of Discord, is there a text? And if I push that button, will it do the, the, do the Discord thing? There it goes. Ooh. That is amazing. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. We did the ding, guys. We should up the skills. Uh, and we've been upping, was it science? And something else over over and above. We want to maybe do speech as well. We can probably do a couple of things at Science 40. But we can definitely do stuff at Science 50. So let's move you up. And then we'll put the rest into speech. And then we'll work on barter. Because, jeez, yeah, that's awesome. Good stuff. You don't think you could be vegan? It feels like you'd be a mistake. Just eat human instead. Human meat is right. Is right. I'm hearing what sounds like... Like a dining room. And when I turn, it doesn't change. Oh yeah, that's definitely in the game. When I alt-tap out, the game noises go away. 
but it kind of sounds like that there's a room full of people right near us. That's not weird for nothing. Like there's a small room of people having coffee. I have to look to see where they're going to kill these things. It's amazing. Just going crazy. I love pun intentional humor, Koopa. Thank you very much for bringing the gold. Bringing the gold. The wastes. Even when it's Vegas, it's still beautiful. Look at this out. Look at this. Sunshiny, wonderful day. Perfect for killing giant scorpions the size of your sofa. That's a thing. Oh. Now, what is that thing? That is a golden gecko, everybody. That is a golden gecko. Do we steer clear? You take a sip of your trusty canteen. Um, items. I don't think we. Well, no, it's not the. It's not. It's not the pistol. It's the repeater. Yeah, my cowboy repeater's really good. Can't tell. Eat this. Oh, he looks deadly. Oh, and actually, hold on. Never mind. My, my team is kind of amazing. Yo, Rex, can you get your health back? That would be all sorts of... Sure, I'll take your stake. All, all, all your things. Posted the stake. Have a hundred in your wallet that I might use this week if it's another busy week. Hey, whatever gets you through your busy week. If it's an almost hundred dollar stake, do it. Is there inflation? Does it does it go up because nobody bought it this week? It's worth 100 next week? Like the lottery? Is that a thing? I don't really do that with steak, though, right? I don't really do that with steak. Oh, now there's a bunch of them. Now there's a... Oh, no, holy crap. That's a death claw. Can we survive death claws? That's not a gecko, guys. No, I'm still... That doesn't... That does no damage to him. How do I tell my people to not go and get killed right now? If I run really far away, will they... Oh, man. That radiation cam looks kind of amazing. Uh, if I run away right now, do my people survive? Like, that was a critical strike. It took two health. Two death claws. Oh, Rex is unconscious. That's amazing. Okay, I just blew my own legs off. Oh, that's a lot of death claws. All right, we just shouldn't have come this way. <laughs> And that was an awesome death to have during radiation camp. That smells like amazing rip. We're not heading north, are we? <laughs> I was gonna warn you, but I thought it would be funnier. Well, hey, I'm glad I had... I'm glad I had Boone. Boone and Rex with me to die only a little tiny bit slower um that's the, that that's not the button i i i had to bind map to reload in this game and I, I don't know why uh all right well lesson learned we can't just run straight there can we follow the road where they're going they won't need roads what do you think did you take wild wasteland I did not take Wild Wasteland. Is that a street? Or a town? <laughs> I'm legit just kind of running straight there. No, that's not the button I want. So, you know. 
Oh wait, Wild Wasteland? That's a perk, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't think I did. And I could also be quick saving as we go. Oh, noisy. Let's take a Pip-Boy moment out to be all like, what is up? And thank you for the 500 bit slap. I got an emote thanks to you. Uh, if I, whoa, alt tab out for a half sec, then it cranes all over the place and I can do a nice little thank you with some K-pop cheer. That is absolutely, what is happening with my dude? Hold on. Whoa, what is what is way happening with my dude? We're we're back. Thank you very, very much. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're doing some uh interesting fallout tonight. I've already died. We should have a death counter. We really should, except it would have to go into four digits. It's nuts. Uh that's a perk. I was gonna tell you if you want to know how to get the best gun in the game. Oh, I like gun. I don't really do the stealth. I do the let's shoot at stuff. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Why are you killing the Brahmin? Oh, my team is so weird. Did we kill all the Brahmin? <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh, look at all the emotes dropped in. Noisy, that was amazing. Thank you so much for the, uh, for, for the drop. That was phenomenal. I think a lot of people got a lot of really cute emotes out of that. Looks probably more like Deathclaw territory, yeah. Quick save. And let's maybe go wide and stay away from the gross ground. Sad music usually means I'm gonna die. How can I... I guess better perception? Rex, what do you see, boy? You see Boone, don't you? Fave game. Enjoy watching people play. Awesome. It, we're having a lot of fun with this one. This is a pretty good game. Uh, fun fact. I purchased this game for $5 in 2011, and I've never played it. I didn't even install it. I got it on a super cheap sale, and I went, yep, there we go. So, a bunch of folk in the community. Koopa's one of them. Very, very familiar with the title. Uh, have been sort of saying, yeah, go that way, and then watching me die. <laughs> it's been pretty cool. Um, but mostly, for the most part, I've been getting, like, cool stuff, like Boone, Rex. Rex has a nifty brain. You can see it. So, you know, so far it's going not too shabbly. Go to Quarry Junction. Aye. Is that somewhere I've already been? You'll, you'll discover I'm delightfully aloof when I play games. I have a tendency to just stumble forth. I usually pick up on the detriment of death in games. Oh, death claws, death claws. Back it up, back it up. Can we, is that, that's already our running button? Crap. I just hit the save button too. <laughs> I didn't tell you to go that way through death claw bangville. I just didn't stop you. Well, that's, that's a lot of true. Am I? I'm, I'm... Okay, that's caution. Nobody shoot at them, okay? Just follow me. That's... Okay, well, Rex is gonna be a badass. And then I went up a level. Oh, wait! We died, so I dang again. <laughs> I forgot about that. We killed a Deathclaw for this one, though. Uh, what were we upping? We upped science to fitty. And then we're going to start throwing some into speech because we're really enjoying the smarminess that is this game. Okay, well, are death claws worth looting? Should I be going back for that? Especially since Rex is just all sorts of badass. You see the way he bit the face off that thing? Like he was mad about it? Like, stealth in this game is a bit strange. Maybe when you've got high stealth, it's a bit different. Oh, it's a young Deathclaw. There we go. But as soon as that caution happens, you're like, you're, you're, you're done. You, you shouldn't be doing that anymore.
So I was kind of thinking if we maybe headed here. You know. Just picked up Outer Worlds. Not gonna lie, missed Obsidian's writing. Ah, beauty. I've heard mixed things about Outer Worlds. You're giving it a good thumbs up? See? Caution. We're screwed already, right? Yeah, danger. We're already screwed. Oh my. Well, and it's a pack of them too, right? It's a whole bunch. Boone is already unconscious. Rex is unconscious. These guys are fast too, aren't they? Are they fast? Or are they just deadly? That's fast. Yeah, that's fast. They're also fast. Fun fact, everybody. We're not going to go that way then. We tried it. We tried it. Are they fast? <laughs> they appear to be fast. We were we were checking it out. Outer Worlds has been great so far. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, I keep pulling the gun out. I I had to remap it. We're probably not going to the fort via this way, are we? We're gonna go. Let's take a look at quests. I I get a little bit muddled in in the questing that is Fallout. Now I did play Fallout Three and I beat the like main story once. And then I played another one where I avoided the main story and had a ton of fun. Played a bunch of the DLCs. It was great. I played a little bit of Fallout 4. Not a ton. I want to say like a third of it. I got stuck when I first met Super Mutants and I wasn't able to take them down. And I had to just do questing to level up. And I kind of got sidetracked way too much. Um, so I'm finding that I get super lost in where I'm supposed to be going next or why. I don't even know some of the allegiances. So that's a thing. But we're enjoying the heck fire out of the game. And the story is quite fun so far. And Death Claws run like they're losing the battle of Tyre. And like they, I think they have a bit of a gallop to what they do. I think they have a little bit of a... They're using four legs to go. And they also have claws that are death on those limbs. I don't have any of that. None of that. Nope. I had Boone and Rex and they were both unconscious. So, you know. Woo! Definitely faster way faster mm. so like the platinum chip isn't even where I should be going right like I should be doing that one says from the fort but when I go to world map it wants me to be going like oh holy way down to Cottonwood Cove now that's even farther but I can fast travel to a couple of weird places Right? Because we were all over this place before. I like how they redid them in Fallout 4. Did they really? Oh, that's kind of alright. They have no we weakness on their tum tum, so they gallop hunched over. Oh, that's cute. It's like they're like anti headshot, only it's bellies for them. Um, so guys, like, what should I be doing for quest-wise? Like, should I be screwing around with wildcard side bets instead? And doing, you know, these guys here? There's a lot of stuff going on in that one. I don't know if I want to return to Kaisar. Dude that pronounces his own name wrong. Um, Hold on. Ow. And to crack a toe. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Uh, so if I do side bats, I bet you this opens up a lot of things. Like, look at that lot of things. That's kind of amazing. There's a lot of things. That's not porn is why your parents disowned you. Is there really such? No, never mind. I know about rule. 32? I can't remember now. There's so many rules on the internet. So, like, a bunch of these aren't even places. They're not even a you don't know this location. It's literally just there's a dude out in the world. Make contact with the Brotherhood of Style. But, like, at this point as well, I don't know what this one is. It's just going that direction. Are you really asking if the internet has found the giant monster sexy somehow? <laughs> I'm certain they have. I'm certain they have. There's porn for anything anymore. I have a feeling that that's where we're going to go with the information age. Is all things will cross. There's just going to be like an AI that just creates all things. So yeah, there's two of these I can be doing well within our, 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 our grasp. If we go get the... Let's just go get the Platinum Chip. Let's do this one because this seems a little bit more 
feasible, maybe a lot less death claws, and we'll start at Wolfhorn Ranch. We'll find out if we die when we go here. What up, Boom? I kind of like that he's wearing a dog hat. <laughs> the pair of them together is kind of amazing. Let's go up Cottonwood Cove. Let's do it. Let's do it. Give the internet five seconds alone with a stop sign and they'll draw massive milkies and a big old tonger on it. I can, I can, I, that's not the button I want. I can believe that. Oh, right. That's my flashlight. I like to move it, move it. We're mostly going to try to just follow road, I think, but. Now don't go to Wiggy and start killing the bighorns and stuff, yo. Don't do crazy stuff, peeps. Don't do crazy stuff. Couldn't tell where my actual marker was. All right, well, now that we're out this way, we got a bit of a, we got a bit of a ways to go. We got a bit of a ways to go. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's do, let's get this stuck on. Still only at two thirds health, but that's okay. Are we are we busting chops, Rex? What's up? What's going on, you? I guess since we saved, we're just gonna run straight bollocks to stealth, right? Oh my gun! This is the wait. Where's my where's my gun button? There. Uh, this is the uh, silenced. 22 pistol? So I have no idea. Yeah, and it's straight vanilla. Uh, I have no mods. No DLCs. Five bucks <laughs> that I paid for this title. Way back in the day. I was definitely on a Fallout kick when I bought it, but on my way out of it. I was definitely not playing as much Fallout. I don't know what game I was playing in 2011. I have no idea. <clears throat> I don't know what took over instead. Diablo? What games were around 2011? Too many years since you played, didn't realize? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and so, like, this is... Like, a lot of people... They're mad at me. Are they mad at me? Hi. Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The okay. whole town's irradiated to high hell. All right, cool. Thanks for letting me know, First Sergeant Master. Uh, this this appears to be uh, a lot of people's favorite Fallout, which that's partly why I'm even playing it now. Um, I enjoyed Bioshock so much, and I enjoyed Far Cry 3 so much. And both of those are... 2008 was Bioshock, I think. I can't remember when Far Cry 3 was. Uh, but they're both they're both pretty pretty far back. Uh, and they were amazing. So I thought, ah, oh, well, Hackfire, I'll, I'll give this some, I'll give this some goodness. In 2011, you were playing this, Skate 3 and Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was playing. Um, because I, I, I gave a decade to World of Warcraft, so that would have been until 2014. But I wasn't really... I swear, if you hear another buzzsaw, I'm going to break something. <laughs> um, so yeah, I could, there was a chance I was playing a little bit of Warcraft, but I don't think it was dominating my gameplay. I don't know what was. 2011? Probably nothing. I might That might have been college? No, Sage, when did we go to college? That wasn't 2011, right? That was... 2014? 2015? Uh, I don't even remember. In the past. And I've never really played any skateboarding games, Coop. I has not. I don't I don't do well with dexterity games as we've learned with, with Hollow Knight. Hmm. Like I don't even think I played like SXS SXX Charlie XCX Tricky, whatever that is. That one. I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to oh. keep travelers away from the area. Master, they're amazing. None that aren't feral ghouls. 
Those poor bastards. Can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? Ooh. Side quest. I want you to put down the troopers that changed, turned into ghouls. Done. Why you want me to kill them? Those boys aren't themselves anymore. They're in pain. And you don't let good men suffer like that. Those troopers deserve a clean death. What's up with your gun? Thank you. Right. Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. Done. There's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Done and oh, done. And take these radiation supplies. <clears throat> You'll need them. Two Rataways. We all go together. Boone and dog, let's go do crazy things. Vests. We will all go together. That's really a two-headed bear? I just kind of thought it was two bears. We also dang? It's level 11, guys. This is the third time we've hit level 11 tonight. <laughs> we gotta stop dying. We just gotta stop dying. Safe. <laughs> you wanna kill some people? I'll give you some money. And, like, my dude is just, like, no questions asked. But there's money, right? That's about it. You prefer arcadey ones like Tony Hawk? Okay, technicality is cool, but you like busting out uh, uh, big trickies. Just doing like the fun. Uh, and no, I have not done any rocket ship quest. I have not burned all my fuel out here alone. Hello. Hello. That wasn't Boone. Oh boy. The radiation has started. It also got really green. Well, let's go under the aid department of our items. Uh, and rad X for rad resistance. And I think I already have some rads going on. Yeah, I'm at 111. So we'll start with just one of those right now. And I've also changed my gun a couple times, but again, we still die. Lots of die. Cowboy repeater, come on in. There's still Take only this. one rad per second, so that's not too bad. I'm probably hitting the the yeah, I'm I'm hitting the thing. <laughs> well, that one's dead. And now Boone's dealing with one up top. <laughs> I'm a little late to all parties. But I'm going to go loot. We like looting. Looting is what I do in the party. That's why I have my attack dog. Uh, I think if you get that quest from Manny Vargas originally, he's already got Boone and he's already passed through. I remember the great big rocket ship, but I don't think I did any of the quests on it other than to acquire Boone. I also love that you guys know all of this. It's amazing. It's so cool. I like that I get to just run through here and play blind a game that you guys enjoy. I hope it's not too annoying. <laughs> there we go. 40%. Well, let's get rid of that pesky gun thing you or knife thing you have there. Run from me. Wow. I don't even I couldn't even load fast enough. That's a maze. And there might be extra folk in here. 
people I have not. Oh, I should take some right away. I guess we've been rocking, walking around a little bit, yeah. 200? Wow. Can we get addicted to that nonsense? Ten of these? Ten of these. That is okay. Maybe I'll find any... Right away down here. Uh, hey there. I wasn't expecting just randos. Hi. Do you guys have more than just ammo? I mean, don't get me wrong, ammo's lit. Like, I'll even take your missiles? I'm just crazy that way. And we have a plethora of toasters. Partly because one of them is my buddy. Courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered. With more than just mail. Right away. Stim pack? Yes. Right away. Some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Doctor bag. Those are for limb restore and stuff. Have uh, you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for dudes, miles. Thank you. Well, that was really cool. Uh, that's a lot of rads. Do we have more dudes we can kill? How many things? Okay, items. Right, is it going to be misc? Oh boy. Uh, I am looking. Oh yeah, we also have duct tape with us. I have five dog tags. Okay. I'll just shoot my own dog. Oh, it's west of Novak? Ow! The scorpions aren't going to have dog tags. Can you help? Whoa, and we're at three rads? Four? Oh, jeez. Okay, backing up. Five? Oh, boy. Backing up. Six? We went the wrong way? Did we really go that much the wrong way? Minor rad poisoning. Let's head over to status. Status. Yee. Yee. I don't think I can return with 10 of these. It's definitely going to kill me. I didn't notice it jumped up that high. I hadn't noticed it go past the, the one mark, really. Any chance there's any, like, offshoot dudes? Hey. Can't. Music and atmosphere in the quest, indeed. This is, like, it's spooky. I love the green. It's really well done. But I only have one more rat right away. I'll need... Oh, I didn't need to loot all the things. And I have four more dog tags to pick up. Oh, jeez. There we go. Done. And I gained karma. Oh, and this one doesn't even have stuff. I didn't win there. Oh, boy. I don't get a special gun. Is it worth it? Is it something I have to do? 
I'd be okay with not having to. As it is, we're not going to be able to clear the rads away that we have. <laughs> Oops. I think you'll give me another 10 just for, you know, being nice. If I'm all just like, hey. Where, where were they? Were they this ways? I'm not just sure where our quest giver guy is. But I'm hoping maybe we can get... Rex, are you off to things? Uh, hopefully we can get a couple of more on the outskirts of the stuff. Let's see. Those little music stabs are cute. Eat this. Glowing. Okay, that's not bad. A couple of calves, but that's it. If I can steer clear of the radiation. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping these guys have have dog tags. Big note. A little bit of movement, but that's not counting. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I shoot at all when there's no point in me wasting my ammo. <laughs> These guys are great at it. Yeah. I'm gonna go shoot my dog at him. Eat this. Go for it, best buddy. <laughs> None of these dudes are having any of the dog tags I'm after, so they're not the right mobs. That's less fun. We will head back. Yeah. But it's all radiation out here, and I don't even have Radex. I think if we just head straight here, we get to radiation town pretty quick. We go kind of around it, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, that music is nice. That's well done. Yeah, right? All through here. The slight green. Oh, the slight green. Thank you so much for the follow noisy. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Look at the, like, the way it just sort of settles in. Unsettles. So yeah, I've already been all through where I thought I could safely travel. We started to get into the plus seven rads per second, and that's hurty. I just send my dog. When he gets unconscious, he just goes back to me. And that's the best superpower. Yeah, we gotta head out of here. 
Yeah, regroup on the rad meds, come back at a later time. That's actually a brilliant idea. Uh, we should... Can we fast travel to this area? Let's see. Yeah, we can, we can fast travel to Camp Searchlight uh, and the Coyote Mines... My mouse cursor keeps moving, and I end up scrolling chat on the side. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, have we actually been to the Coyote Mines? I'm just curious. Is that is that a radiated place? I don't think it is. So that that could be my fast travel joint. Okay, that's pretty cool. We can fast travel back here when we've got uh, rad meds. Going to this, and then that means we gotta go check world map. And we are heading back to Cottonwood, which is this way. And we're hoping we can get over this. That's a lot of mountain views. Is it Radiation Town? Do I have to... Oh. Wow, that's a nice view. Oh, hold on a sec. There. That little tower was important for the nice view. Uh, I think I can do that. There. Check that out. That's just nice. That's just nice. Don't know if we can just hop, skip, and a jump across over this. Um, we'll give it a save. We're not too deep now. We end up going down here and find death claws, for instance. Because I don't think you want to swim through that, right? Not to die. Slowly. Slowly down the hill. Alright. Guns away and we'll get a bit of a brisk run. This is a long stretch without any enemies, so that's not bad. Although, being in a giant valley in a game where you trust no one. Just saying. Legion Explorer. Oh, yeah. I've left a poor impression on the community, maybe shunned as a result. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm now hated with these guys. We're okay with, with Kazar hating us, though. We're okay with that, because kind of an arsehole. That's a thing. My sheep? Right? Right in the nose. And I guess we should do the, what's it, um, is it healing? <laughs> I just dropped in. There we go. That should be alright. Hey, why do I still have no health, though? There we go. <laughs> oh no, Kazer hates me. Shocked, disappointed. I had to be briefly reminded who he even was. What kind of sniper rifle do I even have? I'm just asking out loud. Ooh. 
we're gonna follow that bullet. There we go. Into the water. We're near a Legion slave camp now. I've been here before. Let's one get up, one boom. thing straight. I see any crimson, I'm taking a shot. Hey. If you don't like that, you're on your own. Hey. As long as you don't mind me joining the fun. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. It's good to know he's got, like, his own allegiance. I don't think I'd hold it against you. Is it okay if I'm not wearing a dog hood? Is that cool? Dude, yes. Boone is such a ride or die. I love him. He's he's kind of lit. He's he's well done, this guy. I'm going to aim my gun at you for a while. See how you like it. Dude, do it. This is a fetish thing. Uh, <laughs> we'll maybe go on into the town. And we'll loot this particular... Poor son of a... Poor son of a... Honey mesquite pod. That gets me health? Yes. Some purified water is okay. Let's get another save in here. Can we have a sleep in a bed? What do you think? But have I really lost, like, my own karma? Because I'm stealing from people I don't like? Is that... Right? Oh, yes! You're mine. I got that guy right in the bum. Uh, whoa. Way down here? Way down here? No, I want to shoot at the guy that's just off to the side. He's over... He's over... Here. That's the guy I want to shoot at. Yeah. Alright, I wanted to shoot at the other guy a lot more. We're also going to go in a titch slower. Perhaps dynamite? There's like blokes just over there. I can't hit them too far from here. And why am I shooting at Boone and my dog? Come on. Oh, and this guy's got a name? Oh. You simp for Boone, man? Yes. Seems pretty lit, this guy. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do great for these headshots, but... Just in case we get a really nice shot. I also maybe want to use another stim pack. What is up? Rex is unconscious. Boone is having one heck of a right. hard time. It's over. Uh, I don't know. I see red on my map, Boone. And our dog's unconscious. Okay, that's our dog. We probably didn't want to shoot him anyway. Uh, we don't have any ammo. Uh, nine millimeter? It's got okay DPS. Long fuse dynamite. There we go. Seriously, is he coming up this way? Gone. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's two of them. There we go. That's what that was made for. I have become vilified. Is that a title? Can I wear that over my head? Vilified. That sounds pretty cool. Did you put my dog asleep again? I don't like that. Another mushit. What up, Growly boy? Let's go into the 
stats department and stim pack up. Might as well use them both. I'm addicted to stim packs. That's fantastic. Anti venom. These guys got some good stuff on them. Oh, what? Machete Gladius? We're gonna build a really good revolver. Is this somebody that's a prisoner? Uh oh. Uh stand up. Morning. We're being held here against our will. I beg you, help us. Sorry, I'm just glad someone is doing something. Done? The last thing I need is to be made some legionary's bitch and sent off to God knows where. Uh we'll try to not. Let that happen. Are you gonna free us or what? Let me deactivate your call. I didn't even notice. I thought that was fashion. Freedom. Thank God Frank thinks we're enslaved. Now we can actually start fresh. Thank you Darn. for helping us. Oh, I feel good about that, dude. You guys I right? You guys can just scoot? I can't ever thank you enough for saving me and mine. Done. We're free now. He said the bitch word. <laughs> All right. And for sport. No, we're kidding. We're nicer than that. You guys can stay in there, though. Do I lose karma for opening the gate? I'm just, I'm just curious. Asking for a friend. Hey, that was pretty, like, quick save worthy. I don't mind that. Oh boy, do I reload fast. Cursor Lucullus. I was supposed to go meet that dude, wasn't I? Or fish him into the drink? I can't remember. What was my plan? I love how, like... A wasn't Kaisar inviting me out here to be all like, dude, we could do cool stuff. You should come out and do the thing. And then I like murdered everybody in his town. Like everybody. We take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. I'm ready for that. Are you? No, I'm trying to loot the thing. Yes, but you're not coming with me. That would be so stupid. You ever change your mind? I'll be right there with you. I just kind of wanted to loot this dude. We're going to make the best machete. I think actually that's already the best machete. Let's go into the items, into the weapons. Oh, let's make some good stuff here. Uh, I didn't mean to equip that. But is it better? Okay, it's better damage here. I got lots of... Oh, it's nice. That's beautiful stuff. Uh, still scrolling too far. Hold on. Give me a sec. Oh, and I clicked on... Uh, wow, I might accidentally stop streaming at some point. This game is dangerous for streamers. It just is. Continue. Yeah, I hope there's... I don't think I have protection. It, it would just stop streaming. I may accidentally... Hit buttons. That's really cool. That I now have a like a pro machete gladius. That thing is pro. Oh, and I don't think I want to carry a bunch of NCR gear. Right? Right. There, now we can carry a bit more stuff. Yeah, I need a proper full screen. I should try and do a proper full screen. But my, uh... Aw, oh, I don't have the lockpick for that. Um, 
But yeah, it, it, it sends my cursor way over. Kind of cringe, bro? What, what, what's kind of cringe? Whoa, Jeebus. Hold on. I am getting cautioned on. And I don't see red. Hold on. I didn't even see anybody. We'll head back up. We're probably just going to go through. Just joshing. Dude. Um, probably going to go through all the buildings and like remove the people. Ladies. Uh, bruh, bruh. Yeah, I had caution on me, but now it's gone. I don't like surprises. I was hoping to deliver a bullet. My name is Courier. I look like Cal Urban. And I'm here to deliver a bullet. Why is my dog and Boone already in here? I haven't needed scrap metal yet. Um... So I haven't picked it up. Is there anything in you? <laughs> I love that you can hang that by its. <laughs> That's just amazing. Uh, ball gag. Glue with whiskey bottle. Like there's nothing. Come here. Empty. Okay, empty. Hydra, just hanging out. We don't like these people, though. Do we care about the karma? I'm just curious. If I hit them, I do a lot of damage. There we go. If I do not... Then it's like most of the other weapons I use. Uh, white horse metal. I'm not gonna take that stuff. I'm not gonna take that stuff. Um... Go into. Are those buildings? Was I able to go into those? We got into like fights, but I'm curious. No. They're like houses, but they're not. They're not going in houses. Restroom? We're always checking out the crappers in these places. I love that nobody fixes anything. It's all just stays broken forever. It's fantastic. Adds to the to the ambiance. I keep expecting a giant firefight, and then it's just a crapper. I'm poised for it, damn it, I'm poised for it. What is that? And we never found the what gave me caution earlier. Uh, anything in here? Activate reloading bench. Smokes are practically like taking, um, taking money, right? Like it's kind of, you just eventually convert that. Oh, the reloading bench is where I break down and make, okay, that makes sense. My cursor's still way over there. 
It just keeps happening. I remember coveting scrap metal in one of the fallouts. Like, you'd go on scrap metal runs, because it was so useful for things. Oh. Carton of cigarettes. Cartons are pretty darn good. Still not finding people, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Give me your shotguns. Police batons? Wow. That's okay. Bubble gum. They're just all about me not having karma. I'm going to take their paperweight. That should be the only thing I take. Just, I show up to their paperweight. No, no, no. The, the dollar we do, right there. There's three of them. We want to take that nonsense. And I think we've already got the best um, hunting rifle. And I do believe upstairs is the last place we've not been. Firefight. All night. Firefight. Can't run from me. Done. Buddy shouldn't have even gotten out of his desk. I wasn't done yet. I've already got the best machete gladius. We're okay with that. Canyon nuts? I like that you can just find the weirdest stuff in 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 bags, boxes, desks, gun cabinets. And you have to take the sexy the sexy sleepwear when you find it. I think that's a Fallout exclusive. Smokes. Grognak the Barbarian? Yes. Doing just fine with it. Oh, what's in your fridge, bro? All of that's coming with me. It's not karma. He can't eat it. He died. Unfortunately. Legion patrol notes. Yes. Two of his pencils. I'm totally taking everything from this guy's desk. And your stupid coffee mug, too. Well, that's not bad. What were we doing here other than ruining the town? What was the thing we were doing here? <laughs> what was the point? It's gorgeous. It's nice here. Don't get me wrong. My quest marker just took me here, but I don't know. I didn't really look at the why. Um, so under quest. Oh, I actually have to go a bit further. The fort. There's an actual place called the fort. Ah, okay. I might have the... Is it that place? I might have the... The key to get in it now. I definitely didn't get the lockpick skill required. That wasn't in any box. No box had that. But I killed a lot of named dudes. But they did not have... no back door I can't just I can't just do that okay that freaks them out when I do that uh, I think we're actually to take that boat aren't we we just oh, there we, go. Reload. Uh, we take the boat um, yeah 
that takes us to the fort. Now, it procked this guy to tell me something. How many stim packs do I got? Oh, geez. I think it's a giant zero. Should I have things stocked up before we go? Uh, we're sort of low on dollar reduce, I think. Yeah, 1,600 caps ain't, ain't huge. But like, I'm I'm not wrong. We wrecked this place, right? It's 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 done deal. We got Co HQ, we got Yeah, we got all the places here. Hello? Chat? Are you working? Chat? Can you read me, chat? Welcome, Sonic Hater, who is not a Sonic Hater. But I shorten everyone's name. Welcome, Sonic Hater. Loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you for reporting in. To be fair, I enjoy the test. That sounded like Rex getting mad about something. Wait, where's... Where's Rex? Yo, where did Rex go? Is Rex unconscious? Rex got a little stuck when we went out here. Is Rex still stuck? Uh-oh. I lost a dog, everybody. Is he still in the water? Do I have text-to-speech on or something? I do not have text-to-speech on. I do not. That's not Rex, is it? Ant Nectar. Where is my robot dog, everybody? I don't know how I would hear you. Loud and clear. It's an imagination station uh, uh, perk, if you will. I didn't actually lock my dog in here though, right? Guys, we lost Rex. If I fast travel home, is he there? Boone, where did our dog go, buddy? He was with us when we were on the roof. Did he get stuck on the roof? Up on the Oh, dude, Rex, buddy. Can you, can you come with us this time? <whistles> Welcome back to the full. It's so weird having to go back and find my dudes. If I fast travel somewhere, Rex will I think that's the case, yeah. They, they, um, they have them sort of bound to you, but in the event, like there's, there, there needs to be a trigger. So yeah, I was expecting perhaps if I fast travel. Which I was considering doing, but we just kind of like, I, I sort of wanted to make sure we had our dog. Uh, so, like, should we do other stuff? Because right now, I lack the stim packs, I lack the Rataway, uh, the ammo, the wherewithal <laughs> to do a bunch of the others. No. Hold on a sec, guys. I'm actually going to take a brief break. I just noticed that I need to open a door and that causes a bunch of weird stuff uh, to happen. So pick a number between one and five. Whoever the first to put in a number is. Uh, I'm going to take a short... Oh, hi. I'm going to knock my hands around. There we go. Number two. I'm going to take a short break. And I'm going to take care of the air conditioning situation in my house. I shall return to you all very momentarily. It's not too bad. That works out. Two minutes? Maybe that's a bit long. One minute? Something like that. Did I do it right? I, I, uh... Uh, that was weird and okay. Wait, 
What's my... What's my... It's not that button. I couldn't remember my punch button. Yeah, like, we're actually doing proper shootout. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just like a Western. Oh, I already know this pattern, too. Yeet. That this might be the best dog I think I've ever seen animated in any game. right in the face with it. For the win. See, we haven't dealt with much fire. There. Yes. Puppy's got a hat, everybody. Apologies for the break, everybody, but uh, I have to jimmy the door or it rattles when I open the patio door. It's a thing. You have to do it. You have to do a thing. It's 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 all sort of. Oh no, picking fights with Wedge. He wins. He wins. He's got all day to fight. It's just a thing. He's got all day to fight. It's just a thing. Uh, okay, let's do some wild card side bets. Let's just have some fun doing some wild card side bets. There's a boatload of these. Let's pick, uh, where's closest on the world map? Uh, this one, and we can go, oh, we're vilified? Well, we can't go there. Uh, we're neutral at the ranger station, and we can go south. You want to go for round two? <laughs> I'm getting scruffy. Yeah, you'll, you'll note that when I have... Are these guys nice guys? Hi, Officer Lank. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, when I have days that I have to cancel stream because I'm not feeling well, I often also do not shave for like, I don't know, two weeks. Just kidding. This is like four days. <laughs> and this, at some point I need to go on in and like literally machete this thing off my face. Uh, but I don't. I like to move it, move it. Um, does it show me then which one is, is that one I'm going to? No, it's not. It's that one I'm going to. It doesn't make it obvious which one I've actually highlighted. I mean, it's not bad. But yeah, I have to get out the clippers, and I gotta get out the extension cord, and I gotta get all the stuff. And some days you just, you know, some days you just, you know. I don't think I can Skyrim around that. And the patriotic music playing right now, this is amazing. Yeah, how am I going to get there? I think we're going to go to the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters instead. Homeless in his heart. I wear my homeless heart on my sleeve. Uh, yeah, this might be a bit more of a direct run. There we go. A heart's home is in the body. I want a t-shirt that says that. A heart's home is in the body. sounds fantastic. I legit don't remember the long ass uh, Jim the Anvil Needheart goatee a week ago. Does your facial hair really grow that fast? It does. It does. I typically shave once a week. Uh, not this. This isn't once a week. But like all of this that you can literally grab onto and pull. Yeah. I have no idea why, but I, I grow facial hair way faster than I think most people do. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They have laser pistols. They got lasers, people. What are we gonna do against lasers? Should I shoot my own people, guys? I have no help. I have no health for this nonsense. 
You get him, Rex. Rex is faster too, so like that's kind of awesome. Empty syringe. Yeah. Oh, I suppose we should sell like the tons of crap that we've been carrying. I just got. I need to find somebody that's willing to unload their caps for my my nonsense. Doom, dig -a doom, doom. I feel like I knew you. Had this name in uh, since 2011. Think you joined in 13? Jeebs, yes. Hail ancient names. That's the way I'm going. Oh, we can't probably Skyrim up that. Oh, that maybe looks like path though. Let's try it. No, there's a, there's a couple of folk in my Discord that change their name, like, sometimes weekly. And there's a couple of people that change them, like, maybe eventful or, like, just once in a while, just for fun. Not, like, too frequently. This looks so scary right now. Uh, and then there's folk like me and Koopa that have had our names just for so long, you keep them forever. Where am I going? It is this way, right? Brewer's Beer Bootlegging. It was this thing that was creeping me out. Those things do not look even a little bit happy. Just saying. And we're nowhere near where we need to be, so we're just going to keep trucking. Before that, it used to be... Ghost juggler. Oh my. Eat this. Shots right in the head. I am a little woozy. You are not wrong. Let's maybe eat something. <laughs> Aid. Some pinion nuts, maybe a pugilism illustrated. Uh, some purified water. We'll let that go for a little bit. My noodles is worn off. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's what's going on. What do I have that helps negate that? What can I do to F that? I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm still not a Sonic hater on Discord though. Yeah. On a server with your friends, they keep changing they keep changing your nickname? Dude. Uh, I I make sure people can change their own name on my my Discord server if they want. Uh, let's see, today's physician, med plus ten. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Some more melee weapon. I need to be able to uh, counteract this. Hold on. Scroll that down again. Roll over. Okay. Gumdrops. <laughs> I've got so many things, but I don't think anything is specifically going to help with my... Ooh. HP plus one over seven seconds. That's not bad. Oh, anti then. Poison removed. There we go. I wasn't sure if I even had that stuff. And some absinthe, because, you know, we're having a bad day dog meat because we're having a bad day there's a fresh apple Let's see if we can get some of that health back oh hey i love 2006 2006 is all right what was i doing in 2006 jeez gecko steak some uh fire ant meat i'll have more dog meat because our bad day isn't so bad look how pretty that is all at night see what else can we throw on how about some healing powder uh some lad's life locksmith reader some maize maybe a bunch of mole rat meat not a nuka cola quartz we're not there yet we're not there yet we're not just eating everything in the bag man. that's just weird 
That's just weird. That's not bad then. We're back to the health we were before, so maybe had we done this a bit ago. Steady. There we go. I was 11, so 2006 was sixth grade, and adult swim. Dude, there you go. We'll have another one of those. Today's physician has worn off. I <laughs> can get him right in the head. Rex, what the hell are you doing just hanging out way back there? What is with our dog today? You should... Oh. Not wait here. You should wait here so that you can follow me. Keep doing the follow me if you can. If you can. If you can. Alright. I think we're doing okay now. You're older than an eight-year-old. Not even seven-year-olds are that old. Oh, I'm way over there again. Hold on a sec. The mouse cursor, it's just far. It's just far. I have to always turn to the right. It's kind of funny. If I turn to the left, then I end up scrolling over top of chat. <laughs> Which? Yeah, we're going the right way. Can we? I don't feel like this is going to let me through. It might, but I don't. Not at all freaky. Yeah. Yo, my head out? Yo, buddy. Thanks for coming in, giving us your words, man. Giving us your time, giving us your place. Happy to have you in, man. And there's some right away five stim packs. Tweezers, are you kidding me? We came all the distance. Combat armor, reinforced. Weight is a ton, but reinforced armor sounds okay. I'm kind of glad we came up here. Even if I can't Skyrim up somewhere. I'll take that. School tomorrow and an ortho? Whoa. Happy ortho appointment, you. Yeah, I don't know how to get... Like, I, I would guess I need to actually come around here. So let's head... Should I go maybe this way? Yeah, I can come around. Okay. We'll just fast travel this far. Eat and this. find a ton of things? What is happening? And then everybody died. Can't run from me. Like, we were just here. We were just here. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna suggest right now that the. It, it saves when you. It saves when you travel. So, Can't this is the worst version of... Now, that's the one that I... That's the auto, that's the quick save. Okay. Oh. Eat this. Oh! This is before we fast travel. This is before we fast travel. Oh, wow. All right.
Whoa. Guys. There we are. Well, we have a uh, fun broken save. Uh, just run. Yeah, like we're just going to have to scoot it. Alright. Yeah, we're dead. It's cool. Uh, this button. Well, Rex is unconscious. The music is hilarious for this part. Nice. Sort of nice. Yeah, I don't recall this area being uh, deadly when we came in here the first time. Does anybody else recall? Did we pass the universe of giant bugs that wanted to kill us? I don't rightfully recall. Also, Rex is unconscious, did you know? Absent pour off. Da -da. Uh, which is a good where to run? I'm not just sure my best direction either. Boone is unconscious. That's the end of me. I can probably survive that poison. Oh, not if they're gonna have all of the bugs in the world over there now. Oh boy, guys. I'm a little woozy. I'm a little woozy. All right. Uh, all right. Like, there's not a place for me to go into. Just get to a safer spot. <laughs> I'm gonna take your advice. Uh, what is, okay, it's this way. Yeah. Oh, and I'm stuck on the ledge. No, there we go. That's not too bad. Haven't found boatload of bugs yet. Safer isn't really happening when we now find other dudes. Rex is unconscious again. Are they bringing the 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 bad guys to me? It's starting to sound like it. Oh, Boons happen the best time. I'm hidden. There's Boone. <laughs> He's crouch running to me. He's crouch running to me. All right. Well, that, like, half worked. Oh, there we go. Well, that all the way worked. Done. Oh, hello. Hold on. I need to see more about that little emote that just popped up. Wow, that adorable panda. Yes. And Cazadors were not a thing in Fallout 3, were they? Because what? Nonsense. Uh, Wildstraw, welcome in, welcome in. I am, um, I'm feeling, you know, pretty spry, limber, all that stuff. Uh, my voice is still this weird raspy thing. And, it, like, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't actually feel like I have a thickness in my throat. I just kinda... 
when I drink hot chai, my throat gets clear. I finished my chai a little bit ago, so now my throat's not clear. <laughs> it's just interesting. Uh, I don't really know what's wrong with me. But my throat likes to be all like, hey, you're going to sound sick for a couple of days. And we'll see where it goes. How are you doing? And Cazadors are the bane of your existence. Noisy, I hear that. I hear that loud and clear. However, me and Brain Dog are going to go see if we can ruin them one at a time. As long as we don't have to run into seven. Right, Brain Dog? Brain Dog. Mm -mm. Lurk for work. Chances map. Cherry bombs. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Rex is unconscious. Eat this. Oh, the dude with the Gatling gun. Can't run from me. Can I win against these dudes? Well, there's now, there's now just two of them. Open, hollowed out rock. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, annoying indeed. Doing well, chugging along, doing me. Trying not to be so tense all the time, aka being an adult. It's the worst. It's definitely not the fun. Uh, but, you know, props to you. Have best time. Work's got to be all right. Work's got to be doing you okay. Uh, what sort of thing? Weapon spread reduce? Does that affect my gun? What's up, my damage? Oh, we're going to use some addictive cams. We might as well get some HP in here. I'm scrolling chat again. Hold on. Wait, learning JavaScript, learning fast? Dude, it ah, oh, that is amazing, Straub. That is amazing. I kind of like learning uh, stuff like that. Like picking up uh, DaVinci Resolve for, for video editing has been just eye-opening. It's been so fun. Um, I miss when I was hired as a network guy for a job, coding the crap out of their websites. It's not a network job. I still liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh... Punched my mic. Hopefully nobody out there heard it. Anything else that can up my my oomph while we're out here? Energy resistance. Hype to have the skill indeed. flushed me out. Okay. Drop the gun. Put on the stim pack. Alright. Well, that was alright. You see him reloading like a, like a fiend there? Must have bullets. Anyway, did we... This was where we saved, right? And we have brain dog? Okay. I'm not even looking where I'm supposed to be going. I think it's this way I picked. Yes, okay. Maybe we'll go with a little bit of stealth. Good. Rip. Indeed. Oh, also, is this the best of this gun? What do we have under weapons? Magnum. Yeah, I think that is the best. There we go. And we're back. Like, suddenly there's four very scary-looking assassin people right there having a go at me. So I'm pretty sure it was along this path. We'll just have to go a little bit slower. Save periodically. 
save periodically, you know. Let's put the, the soundtrack, listen to that. Wow, was that? They came kind of down from this hill, I thought. We're using our clairvoyance to avoid, you know, having a grueling end again. If it didn't blow up my dog, too, I would totally be using dynamite right now. Boone, I'm not so worried about. He sits back. Oh, whoa! They know we're here. try to take him down? Looks like he doesn't know where I am. Forty-seven percent. I do not wonder that, Kuba. That is not something I wonder. Um, shoot. All right. Very rippy. That was definitely, uh, we're going to throw down some Fs. <laughs> All right. All right. So those folk appear to bring the hurt regardless of what you're looking to do. So maybe we'll shoot for going... A little bit around them. What are those nasty things? What? Look at that vast Shout out explosion. to Roman bunnies. <laughs> I had to look. It absolutely censored Assassin because of ass. Shout outs to Roman Bunnies. Parker, with the 11 months, thank you so very much, good sir. Welcome, welcome. And that is absolute perfect timing. Look at those fire geckos. By the way, are these things also bringing hurt? I'm just curious. Are there bunnies? Can we kill bunnies? I don't think we can kill bunnies in this game. They would probably kill me. Dude, thank you so much for the sharing of emotes. The stream ain't big enough for the duo. Are you guys going to fight? All right, let's just back it up. We can't back it up. How bad are fire geckos? We're not shooting our own dog for frig's eggs. He also doesn't have anything I can hit. What about this super scary one? Oh, Eat fire. This. Fire geckos are on fire. Rex, buddy, are you all right? That was not cool. Boone's already on something. Oh, is it Legionnaires? Did they find me? They friggin' did. Well, we're gonna die anyway. There we go. Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Did we win against those guys? I'm pretty sure I just threw a whole bunch of dynamite until until they were dead. I chucked six start sticks of dynamite. I threatened that earlier, I swear to crap. Beat you gold, diggity, damn it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> and that is a fantastic thing. It's my first level 12. We hit level 11 three times tonight. It was fantastic. It was great. Ding. Indeed. Let's see how many times we can hit level 12. Let's try for it. Uh, we were going to start upping 
things like speech. You've just Michael Myers in part five to him. Michael Myers in part was somebody killed with dynamite in, in, in a Halloween? That's Michael Myers, right? He's Halloween. I'm showing my I don't watch horror colors today. All right, so let's do speech up to go 40. And now we got five points we can put into something really cool. I like explosives, considering we're tossing dynamite a lot. <laughs> no. No, we're not going to go there. Survival. There we go. We'll put that all the way to 50. That looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. Sniper perk. Chance to hit an opponent's head in vats. Significantly increased. I s kind of don't mind that. I immediately go for the head and notice that hitting the body is higher. That could be a good one. Do additional damage to robot. Uh... Life giver. Oh, additional 30 hit points. Whoa. In the beginning of part five Halloween, the reason Michael Myers is in a coma for a year is because he was at the bottom of a mine shaft when somebody lit a stick of dynamite and dropped it on him. Whoa. Horror movies are stupid. And he's in a coma for that. Wow. Oh, and these ones are really cool. The like night person and there's the sun version of that somewhere. Scrounja. Uh, I think I'm going to take this because I definitely shoot at people's heads. Like a lot. Yeah, be in a coma for a bit. Just like a little bit. Okay, see, and this thing's got a. Hi, brain dog. This thing's got a scope and everything, so. Well, Legionnaire arseholes, thanks for following me a great deal. I'm taking your, your, your things. All your nice things. Like a super sledge. That's incredible. Uh, one of you guys. I don't... Th I think he carries my weapons. Nah, you're strong. Fueled by pure evil? Whoa. I did not know that. Fine by me. Better be fine by you. I just come in here and push his buttons. Oh, and I'm scrolling really far again. Hold on. There we go. Uh, you get my super sledge because it weighs it. Butt ton. Uh, and I don't use my varmint rifle anymore. I don't picture me using my machine. Whoa, where's that long fuse dynamite? Bring that back. Uh, uh, um, but under the apparel. It's gonna be hard it? covering you when I can't move my legs. Oh, when you give them stuff? Right. They end up wearing it, don't they? Okay. That's why he's got the dog hat. Uh, pack wound, come here. Yeah, that's pretty much him, right? Does he have cargo pants? He totally has cargo pants. That's where he's putting all the crap. That's fantastic. This guy's got a jalapeno on him. Throwing spears? Can we use throwing spears? Are they lit? Is that a, is that a worthwhile? Should I be picking that up? I didn't want the dude's armor. Can we give him back his armor? Is that apparel? Did I miss that? I did. You can have your stuff back. Can you... Can I make him wear it? I can't just put it back on him? <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. Oh, dynamite! He must have caught one of mine. That's nice. Get all that back. Throwing spears in a game equals use them. To be honest, I might already have some. So let's see if these, if he, yeah, he still, eight? Yes. We'll take those. And I bet you when we run out of dynamite, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna absolutely lob spears at people. I just currently have eight of them. They're in my back pocket. Don't sit down. Uh, okay, well, the legionnaires that were over by the really creepy things. Wow, that's a lot of creepy things. Do you think they have a loot box? We're gonna say, and we're gonna try to run up there and see if they're if they were guarding something under the effigies. Oh, and thank you, uh, Koopa, repairing my gear to yes, yes. Change my weights. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
mousing over all the things again. Oh, and I am out of ammo with that gun. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything for this one. I should go back to using my pistol, actually. Because it's the best pistol. Or my magnum, because it's actually a better... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to using the magnum for now. Shall we make another world's best 9mm? To run around in the, sle the, the the sexy sleepwear. I'm not really like my armor's not much. The revolver has a gun design. Nice. It's a pretty solid looking gun design. Data. Okay. Uh, and then so now we're heading around this way, I believe. Yeah, there really wasn't anything up there. They were. Just kind of being doorknobs over the ridge. Not for any particular, you know, reason. Also, there was a rock I could open, but then we got attacked by something. Just sort of half remembering that now. Okay, and then through here. Yes. Red Ridge. Look at this place. 12.08 for time. The day just flies right by here. Ammo box out of nowhere. Yes. Just shotgun rounds. No big deal. <laughs> John J. K. Keyshan sends his regards. Uh, big iron on his hip. Welcome. Oh, there's all sorts of cray around here. That looks like somewhere I'd be able to go in, but then I would have to shoot people the moment I walk in. Wow, Rambo. I'm sort of remembering it, but I went through my, my Warcraft clips today, and that was a long... That was a long time ago. Those Warcraft days, they were so long. Are we in happy places? I hope we're in happy places. Did you manage to catch that? That nice little, that nice little video. I, I, I made that as a tribute to you, man. Hi. So, you've been sucked into the decadence of the strip as well, have you? Sure. Mister House isn't a man to be trusted. Watch yourself. All right. I'm gonna loot the, loot the outhouse. Giving me those unregistered hypercam two days of watching vids of people breaking the game. Absolutely love it, man. The 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 danger, the danger spires were kind of were kind of awesome. Let's go on into the longhouse, guys. Whoa. A robot dog. Never seen one of those before. You want to pet him? Right on the brain. You got to get him right on the brain. It's his favorite spot. You know you're traveling with a fucking murderer? What, this guy or this guy? The one holding the giant revolver thingy. What up, Boone? Not now, I'm busy. You look super busy. Do these guys not like me? Can I have their Brahmin steak? Oh. Fuck off and die. Like we don't have enough problems. Can we just kill all these people? They seem very unhappy. What up, Carl? I've been warned about you. You were perilously close to making an enemy <laughs> of Caesar, and that is not wise. Caesar. is the first person to call him that. All right. Who are you? My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans as a token of our alliance. Damn, son. 
in exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas. Okay. The Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. Okay. There's an all right chance. Uh, yeah, hail Kaisar. 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 Uh, there's an all right chance we just want to piss all these guys off too, but you know. I had some other questions. Do you want to die today? I am one of the Frumentari. Ooh. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name Rex gets and make files. contact with any tribes <laughs> that might serve Lots a useful of. purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. He's very forthcoming with all the information. By the way, we might hate you, you might hate us, but if you're interested, here's a brief history of our alliance. Though they together. have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. Ooh. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Well, yeah, like, these guys seem like they're doing okay. They didn't immediately shoot me. I'm kind of alright with people like that. Also, thank you so much for the clip. I uh, I don't know if you noticed, uh, but I used one of I used the the hang glider Far Cry 4 clip in one of my highlight reels. That was an awesome one uh, to pick up. Yeah, and Parker, this guy's just like, these are my cards. They are on the table. Read the crap out of them. Just saying. That's just the thing. Speak then. I have another question. Go ahead. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> A robot dog. Never seen one of those before. You saw him a minute ago. So you've been sucked into the decadence of the strip as well, have you? Yes. Well. Somebody up here I'm to talk to? Why I haven't we just... seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? Ooh, make contact with the Great Cons. That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to right? our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. There you go. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. Hey, I see about a coup. You'd fight with the NCR? Oh. I suppose if asked, I there would. There we go. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. What if I, you know, pop Papa? Is that a thing? Can we talk? Can I ask you a question? Goodbye. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our wow. hardships ever since we left California. Wow. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started wow. to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes I worry that's poisoned his mind. What can we do to help you, Papi? What's up? Gosh, Red, Rock, Red Rocks is such a beautiful place. Went there for a concert a few years ago, and it was a blast. Dude. Dude. Nothing. Not bad. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Do you want some bourbon? Does that loosen your tongue? <laughs> and then I'm just going to straight up out of nowhere. By the way, who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. Kind of almost seemed like his kid. Until next time. Thanks. Hi. I heard from one of Melissa's runners that that chick-coated bastard got thrown out on his ass. And these aren't places I can go in, are they? All right, no big deal. Miss concerts, not gonna lie, indeed. I've only been to a handful myself, but I get the hype. I'm sure like they're they're gonna be the biggest thing they come back the the first as soon as COVID's not not something we have to worry about. Sounds like worm tongue to you. Like we don't have enough problems. Was she just having a conversation with a bottle in the yeah. mouth? Alright, so we made contact. I ought to bleed you. Okay, stop saying that. That doesn't make me want to do nice things. Uh, we can remove that guy. Uh, we need to go out to this one now. Oh, okay. And then there's a bunch of them back this way, but then there's also this one way out of town. I think we tried... Did we try to go to this one and I died? I died like a lot of died. Not like a lot, a lot, but like a reasonable amount of died. Yeah, 
And I'm vilified here with... Oh, but I'm okay over at Good Springs. Okay. Let's go sell some crap. Is it Carl we don't like? Carl's got a really raggedy shop. Yeah, and he charges too much for his stim packs. You hear that there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? Some people got killed or something. You looking to buy some supplies? He doesn't know a lot for a guy that wants to know a lot. Let's see there. Can do. Under misc. I want to sell you a bunch of my things. Cases. Should I be worried about cases? Uh, Noisy, Koopa, anybody that knows this game fairly well. Are cases worthwhile to keep in regards to creating your own ammo and other goodness? Or is this basically like smokes and I should just be selling them? Like, I, I can craft ammo? Is it worth? Is it the sort of thing I should care about? Sell them for what? For the dashes. I can buy, like, lots of stuff for that. I didn't even notice there were dashes. Jeebus. You don't even get to... You don't even get to... And then stuff like poison glands. Do I bother to... Oh, hold on a sec. My cursor's just clicking on stuff over there. Seriously, at some point, we're gonna end up just... Canceling stream mid-conversation. <laughs> Sell poison glands. I was always curious. And do they weigh? Holy crap, they weigh a lot. Oh, yeah. Get rid of those things. What about hides? Are hides even something you worry about? I carry lunchbox in case I want to make um, bottle cap mines. I mean, sell both my pencils. Oh, and that's one toaster. I keep thinking it's three toasters I have. It's only one. Honestly, I literally carry four guns, one set of clothes, and spend most of my money on stim packs and ammo. You are clever at this game. You are clever at this game. I carry all the crap. What I used to do in Fallout 3 is fast travel to various places and empty them of everything not nailed down. And I would just, like as soon as I was encumbered, uh, I would open up the closest box to the door of whatever place I was inside. I would fill it with all of the heavy things. And then I would go back and I would pick up all the trash. And then I'd fast travel. And then I'd fast travel back, pick up all the nonsense. And I'd keep doing that. It was, it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... What am I going to use a bunch of hides for, right? Oh, wait, did I just... Pick a bunch of weird stuff. Felt like I picked a bunch of weird stuff. Okay. Well, I guess it was all three of those gecko hides. We're gonna keep duct tape though. She's good peeps. Uh, I just remember going on a um, scrap, if you will, like a, a, a scrap runs in Fallout 3 a lot where I needed like two wonder glue and a gas tank and I'd have to like scrounge the wastes for it. So ever since then I kind of would keep stuff like Skyrim. You know, like you just have your tons and tons of things. But like I have the best Magnum so there's no point in keeping this one. I have the best 9mm so there's no point in keeping that one. I don't even have anything for my caravan. Hold on to a single pressure cooker. Whoa. Try checking an animal bench, seeing what you need to craft shells for ammo you want. That makes sense. And yes, Fallout 3 was awesome. I don't figure I'm going to be using a combat knife anytime soon. I love dynamite. Uh, I think Boone is carrying one of my laser rifles. I will probably never use my lever action shotgun. Maybe I will? We've got a lot of rounds for that. My mushy. And what is a recompense of the fallen? Is that an actual weapon? Tricked your parents into letting you get the game and it changed your life. Oh, my spears don't even sell much. 
Oh, sawed off shotgun looks like it does a lot. Your parents were instructed all GTA 3 at the age of six. Yes. Uh, I was playing. Oh, I don't remember what game. Possibly GTA, because I was just driving around. And there was a. Yeah, it was GTA. And there was a construction crane in the distance. So I drove to it. And my son was loving that. He was barely three. So this was like five months ago. Uh, and so I drove out to a crane way off in the distance and then climbed to the top of it. But then while I was at the top, I slipped and I fell. And I'm like, turned him away from the screen kind of quickly as my dude careens down the ladder of the... Anyway, it was awesome. <laughs> Not something my boy needs to experience. Okay, my casual wear can go. <laughs> I'm gonna... S I'll keep the sleepwear because it doesn't weigh much, but I think it's funny to carry it. Oh, and then these things have been keeping me alive. We probably don't need the beer. And dirty water do we care about? Yeah, this stuff is probably all okay to keep. We already went through all of the misc. Okay, I think I think Thanks. we're okay. Parents monitor and control the music you listen to, TVs, movies you watch till like high school. Whoa, dude. Can do. Also stim packs. Um I'm definitely gonna like I'm definitely gonna check what my kid's watching a little bit, but I also think that you should have a certain amount of risk and a certain amount of caution in your life, if you will. Uh, I saw the movie Platoon when I was like eight, maybe ten, and then I watched it over and over and over again. I've seen that movie almost more than any other movie. Platoon of all movie. Who, who lets their like maybe only ten-year-old watch an Oliver Stone flick and a lot? Um, first Johnny Depp movie. Uh, but yeah, and Highway to Hell in Kindergarten. I can, I can, I can picture that. Look, and I can picture that. Uh, but then also Sleepaway Camp was a was one of the reasons I don't really like horror movies. Koopa, do you know Sleepaway Camp? It's it's got a bit of cult classic behind it. Um, but like, my my brother and sister watched the bejesus out of that movie because it was like the first time that they could watch like something scary. And I wasn't supposed to be there, but I was watching it from the other side of the room. Nobody knew I was there. Uh, that was I was way too young for that movie. I think we saw it the year it came out, so however old that movie is. Um, your mom showed you Child's Play 2 like six or seven times as a three-year-old! And Sleepaway Camp's a classic now, but like, I don't know how old I was. However old that movie is, I was that old. Like, it, we watched it when I think when it came out. Ugh. And Parker, your, your folks were over-controlling too much. Like, stuff, sure, hold that back from kids, but shouldn't have to wait for parents to leave the house to watch Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents? That's a... Is that a flick? That's... I remember my parents trying to convince me not to listen to various forms of metal. They didn't like me listening to Guns N' Roses. They didn't like Metallica. So... That was something that uh, my parents tried not to... Oh, also two live crew <laughs> so like what that was three very very odd bands for my folks to decide to screen around you know nickelodeon cartoon show is okay okay equivalent to spongebob it's all right <laughs> your parents are so mad when you found metallica that was 08 whoa uh one of the lyrics of a metallica song are, are actually, like, if you just read the lyrics, you wouldn't know it's metal. And a buddy of mine used that song to help other people's parents be cool with Metallica. He was such a Metallica fan. Um, ended up growing up joining the Air Force and all sorts of stuff. And he travels with, and he's, like, great people. But his folks were not cool with it. So he had to do research to make sure that he could listen to Metallica. Because he's like, I'm going to listen to it anyway. You, you cannot stop me. I remember trying to explain ICP to your dad. Uh, my my dad was reading Skid Row lyrics to me and trying to tell me what the songs mean. 
Uh, it was so great. That was that was highlight of my highlight of my life. Okay, a buck nine for stim packs. Weren't these like a buck forty or a buck six, sixty? That sort of thing. <laughs> I still don't tell my parents about Slipknot. It's just not worth it. That is so funny. That is that is kind of amazing. Uh, eventually, so like I'm the youngest of four, and my brother was more into the technical aspect of music, and I was interested in bad boy music more. So like my brother listened to, you know, the Beatles, Michael Jackson, Queen, you know, good bands, right? I listened to garage nonsense, which, you know, it, it has its place. It's good stuff. But I was listening to stuff that was swearing for the fun of it, like Motley Crue, you know, being the bad boys. So I sort of understand why my parents were like, eh. oh, they flipped out when they heard you listening to Eminem. Keep Corey Taylor's beautiful voice from the unworthy. Dude. So, like, and some of those bands, they sound hard, but they're actually, like, they're lyrically uh, creative, they're technically brilliant, that sort of stuff. Like, one of the Slipknot guys, doesn't isn't, isn't he uh, a rehab from, like, a hand injury? And so he didn't have feeling in his fingertips, so they got him to play guitar to, like, practice guitar in order to practice getting feeling in his fingertips. And he ended up being really fucking good at guitar. So, you know, stuff like that helps open up parents' eyes a little bit more, right? You know, all that sort of stuff. Back in my day, we believed all of the Aussie nonsense. Just going to say that out loud. You just straight up believed all the Aussie nonsense. Wow, we got a lot of caps now, guys. <clears throat> Nothing under the rad stuff? Dude, your R list is completely devoid. What are you even doing? Parents, parents flipped out when you played Vicinity of Obscenity for S System of a Down rather loudly. <laughs> That's kind of lit. Oh, what did we have? We had uh, Rage Against the Machine was, was just starting to come out when we were gaining independence as, as my buddies and I. So, you know, there's some pretty good stuff you can blast. Right? Right? There's some pretty good stuff you can... you can, Bro, I still want to believe the Aussie nonsense. It was so much publicity, but I'm sure there was a little tiny bit that helped it go through. You know, that sort of thing. Slipknot Mick Thompson. There we go. Koopa. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, you know... But I honestly think so, like, as it is, my kid has already listened to dubstep at least once. You should see his kids' music playlist. It, it includes, like, 30% adult songs. Because, like, seriously, they're good songs. Like, one of them is Celebration by Cool on the Gang. That's not a kid's song. But he also listens to Ziggy Marley. So, like, we're doing great. We're doing okay. Uh, I don't think we can take anything else from Another right satisfied now. customer. Sure. Take it easy now. Peace, Carl. His name's Carl, right? I'm not just calling him that. Listen, you can only stomach the wheels on the bus for so long. <laughs> Put Get Down by Cool in the Gang. Let him get funky. Get down, get down. Uh, this is the only bet I know of in the game. That's not enough. I'm being pushed by my dog. Yeah, we have a... Uh, uh, Neo's song from Aladdin. I uh, never had a friend like me. Um, we had a lot of really good stuff. Uh, You're a hamburger by Radio Free Vestibule. Stuff. Wait, the stuff with the bat or just the everything non-specific? Because, uh, like, the bat thing, I think Ozzy was called and told about it. It was one of those sorts of situations where... Oh, right. They're like, no, 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 go with it. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. NWA's Express Yourself on the playlist when I use it, driving my friends' kids around. There you go. There you go. Uh, we're just going to go straight on exit. And then I'm going to hit the go that way. And we're going to listen to some Zircon for a little tiny bit while we hang out with Mother Lucio over here. My dad thinks James Taylor is as heavy as his music gets. Whoa! Whoa. That's amazing. That's amazing. 
Also, Ozzy eats a bat and no COVID, but somebody in chat doesn't boom pandemic. <laughs> Sage. Dude. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Everybody. Oh. I don't know if I can show it off. Oh, you can't quite see it all. Hold on, hold on. Where's the better one of those? Scenes, unmirrored. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But at one point, you can see there's four holes in the wall up there. They're like one, two, three, and then one below it. But beside those flanking it is like four more other holes. I'm just going to suggest that I swear to crap that I was right beside a stud and I just kept drilling. Those holes have been in the wall for a while now. Uh, that's that's the kind of that's the kind of guy I am. It's pickled by all the drugs. Well, that's but and then that's why it makes it easy for him to just go with it, right? Right. Stud finder keeps detecting you. Uh, the world's best stud finder that we have is a uh, magnet, and it's from a hard drive. Those are awesome. <laughs> you ever get mad and power drill your wall? Cause same bro. So it's really funny. Cause like I, that actually that wall behind me is a, a concrete wall. It separates the ma like the master bedroom from the living room, but the wall here does not. Cause it just goes to the second bedroom. Uh, so what ends up happening is that you've got the three quarters of an inch for the, the drywall. And then there's a tiny pocket of air. So when you knock on the wall, it feels like it's going to be hollow and you can put a, a drill bit through it. So I did all the tests, I did all the stud finding, but it's because there's like three quarters of an inch inside there. You got your half inch of, of drywall, three quarters of an inch inside there. You just hit stone concrete wall, but we didn't know that that wasn't, that wasn't as apparent. So I was just kind of like, you know, I did the tap and I'm like, okay, let's have that. And it, and it stopped and I went, that's irritating. I clearly hit a stud. <laughs> Across an eight inch spread, there's nine holes. <laughs> so then I finally, I finally just cut an anchor in half and dropped it in there and hung a piece of art over it. My wife is still super not impressed. <laughs> uh, and then now we've figured out how to use the 3M hooks to hang stuff. Cause you know, why not? And a spoon is a stud finder. So I kind of feel bad about something last year. Something last year, Coops? What is up? You can still fill in the hole. Well, and that's just it. So like, we went looking for our putty knife today and we didn't find it, but we got just like a nice little cheap putty knife. And then you can buy, I don't know, it's like four ounces of spackle for four bucks from a place. No big deal, right? That kind of thing. Use a spoon as a stud finder. Vibrates different for hollow versus stuff. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Um, on this wall here, the one that I'm facing, uh, we can just use the magnet trick to find the, the studs. But the one behind me is... It's, it's, it's a whole different wall because it's mostly concrete. Which we didn't really know. <laughs> we didn't know that right away. Fill my holes. Yeah, so we've got a lot of construction we're gonna do. We're trying to move a bookshelf out here, but we can't anchor it to a concrete wall. So that's why all the art's down. We, we're actually gonna be, I think, rearranging desks. So I'm gonna be over there. And all that stuff will be over here. You guys probably won't notice. It won't be a big thing. It won't be a big thing. Oh, and then there's Wedge with the YouTube channel. I am loving putting, putting up uh, vids on YouTube. My, my editing skills are coming along at least a little bit. Uh, so I hope, I hope we get some good stuff. Who can we raid? Who do we got out there? We got some ruse? Are you kidding? JJ playing some Among Us. That's not bad. Coco Jobro on Fall Guys. That's nice. That's nice. Holy, Shidosha doing Destiny too? That's nice. Well, good F for you. Wait. Edge is moving, I can't handle it. <laughs> We're just going there. 
Oh, and Logan, we only... So... This is a bit of a contentious issue. Do you safety the child or do you safety the bookshelf? Because picture it this way. If all of our bookshelves are anchored and my son ends up learning that he can climb them and we don't even find out because he anchored them and then he goes to a friend's house one day and tries to climb a bookshelf and they aren't anchored, now my kid is acting unsafe. But if you don't anchor your bookshelves and just make sure to have... So like the bookshelf that we're using is actually just made out of really good but very light wood. So like you can honestly, while it's empty, it's only about as tall as I am, but it's fairly wide. You can literally one hand lift it and carry it around. Like it weighs virtually nothing. You put a couple books on it, it's a bit heavier. So this isn't the sort of thing that will really even injure him all that much. If it falls on him, it will scare the bejesus out of him. We have three other bookshelves that are not what you're looking for to have fallen somebody. They are solid. Um, but they're also in the bedroom where he's not allowed to play on his own. So like we're pretty good there. We do not do out for that. But they're all on these freaking concrete walls. So we're trying to figure out how to anchor them. Kevlar vests the kid, right? Yeah, just get him his own Iron Man suit. Make the kid wear a helmet, knee pads, 24-7. <laughs> Rocket power parker. <laughs> there's a there's a video of a couple of three-year-olds. They're they're twins. And they're trying to they pull the drawers out of a out of a chest of drawers, and it's super wide, not very tall. But they try to pull the drawers out so that they can climb on the top. They're both being clever, these twins. But when they both stand on it, the whole thing flips and flips right over. Just right over. And one of the kids is tossed and the other kid is trapped right friggin' underneath this thing. And so, like, the unstuck twin friggin' has to, like, help and, like, his kid out and whatever. And it's the sort of thing that the whole thing was recorded on the monitor. But, like, at that point, they're, like, three, three and a half years old. And so, yeah, Hulk sibling came along. Like, it was really funny because at first he's like, oh, what's going on? Meanwhile, you can just see the flailing limbs of this other three-year-old under it. So then the kid climbs on top of the dresser and he's standing on it, looking at it. It's like, you're putting a great deal of weight on your brother, buddy. <laughs> it was terrible to watch. But like at this point, the whole video was not even 40 seconds. That's insane, right? So like, you got to make sure that you can keep... We often say we want to try to childproof the kid so that he understands. So we've got a handful of things that he knows not to pull over, but you still can't just have an entire bookshelf that's unanchored right sitting there. That's a thing. That's a thing. Um, Guys, do we have anybody we're looking to? I'm just curious. Do we have anybody we're looking to, to raid tonight? Do we have any raid, uh, raid targets? Because I got like one or two folk. And they're people that we've raided a bunch of times. So I'm sort of thinking that if we can, we can find somebody new. Find somebody potentially new. Gonna give my kid a shirt with a dozen airbags. Everyone wins. <laughs> Are they the kind, though, that they're not yet inflated? And when they do inflate, they're, like, practically an explosive device? DKC2? What's DKC2? Donkey Kong Country 2? Whoa! Who's that, Koopa? Who's on that? Throw me a name. We'll go check out some peeps. I'll even put a slash up already. Oh, wait a minute. Did you throw me a link? Just throw me their name. I'll, I'll, I'll pop their, uh, their link up. Ooh. Unfortunately, I don't get to have too much in the way of, of linkage. Too many people are... Oh, Discord DM? Yeah, there we go. Alright, give me a sec. Oh, I guess I can just click the link, yeah. I like to make sure we're not in a chair. Diddy Kong's Quest, indeed. Alright, this is pretty cool. Links are scaring, indeed. We already had, like, a bot removed message tonight, I think. Right? Mr. Zarathamant? Whoa. Mr. Zara the Mant. Mr. Zara the Mant. I love long names. I love trying to pronounce the syllabilage. It's fantastic. Uh, we're going to go check out some of Donkey Kong Country 2. What was, this, what was the name of this specific stuff? Silicone graphics? 
just Zara is what he goes by online. Zara, indeed. Zara's a great name. That is some serious hair, by the way. This was an awesome night, guys. This was lit. This was, you know what? I'm going to hit my own hype of the freak emotes. I'm going to emote my own chat. And also, some words are hard because I like the wings they come with. Oh, and I love having you guys here. Thanks so much, Parker. Thanks for letting me know, mans. You guys are you guys are late. You guys are lots of fun. Um, look at this. Look at this craziness. Uh, so bearded Arabian, if you're still lurking. Thank you so much for your bit slap earlier, coming in like huge. Uh, checking it out with sub from Burger Walrus. Check it out, Burger. It's probably doing some Hollow Knight. Uh, noisy with the 500 bit slap. Welcome in, noisy. Unbelievable. And then that Parker sub follow up are you kidding guys let's go check out some zara and some donkey kong country and we'll do this again <laughs> i know i know you walrus i know these kids enjoy <laughs>